Devin Butler knows just what he wants to be. Free dirtbag. Butler thinks he's a real cop. Put me down. I meant it in the nicest way. <laughs> Devin, you gotta stop playing stupid cop games. But when you're a cop, people don't sass you. But now... Young Devin here witnessed a crime earlier this evening. You need me to testify and identify, right? I don't think I like that question. Why? I'd like to cut a deal. What? He wants to be a cop. Why do you want to be a cop? Look at this guy. Bad back, bad marriage, bad attitude. Oh, I'm sorry. I broke the nose. I think I can fix it. He's seen a lot of action. But he's seen a lot of TV. Haven't you heard about secondary smoke? My still forming lungs may be shriveling into green chunks of mucus. I want you to drive him around for eight hours. I can't. I don't get along with kids. I don't, I don't like them. They don't like me. I have nothing Nobody to cares. I can't have any fun with a kid. You take a kid to a bar, he has one drink, he falls off the stool. What? You don't have to get up to impress me. Thanks. Where his fantasy ended. My grandson has seen all I want him to see a police no, no. Their real adventure began. Put the pedal to the metal, burn rope. <laughs> Let's go kick some. Oh. I need a diversion. He was a bad boy, boss. <laughs> he called me Piggy. There are two cops learning to meet each other halfway. That was just like Miami Vice. Burt Reynolds. And introducing Norman Golden II, cop and a half. What are you? I'm your worst nightmare, an eight-year-old with a badge. 